I thought about you all night long And then I find myself at home alone Hoping you would at least text my phone So that I know I'm not alone on my own So I know I'm not alone on my own I drove down the street tonight Thinking of the time of my life Having you right by my side Knowing that I'm loving you right And then reality opened my eyes And then I realized I'll forever want you by my side even till the day I die As long as you go inside With everything I think is right Because baby when I look in your eyes And baby when I see your smile I know how love's worthwhile um, good night. I'm about to go take a shower or go to sleep or pass out or something. I don't know. Something's going to happen eventually. I know this video is about to end eventually. So I hope someone's watching this. I'm not wasting my fucking time because like, I'm just like so like fucking, I don't know. Tonight's been another one of those nights. You know, sometimes you sit at home and you think, man, tonight is going to be another boring, lonely, depressing, depressful night. And then next thing you know, and I mean, this is just, this isn't just for the single people. I mean, this is for the people that get cheated on, too. But, like, and then next thing you know, you be sitting there and you be like, man, I got a text coming through from you know who, you know, surprise visit. So it's like, okay, got to spruce myself up because, you know, she going to be, you know, ready, you know. And I got to make sure my, my game on point, you know, because... I mean, it only happens so often that, you know, and within that, it's like, oh, my gosh. So, you know, then I was like, okay, well, you know what? No, I'm not going to do this. You want to know why? Because, in a sense, I'm saving myself right now. I'm being celebratory as to where I'm going to save myself sex until I get with this one, oh, my gosh. She is like, I don't know. I don't, she's, like, really pretty. and I mean, oh, my gosh. If she don't fall for me, like, I'm going to say she's stupid. I really am. I'm going to say she's stupid. She's going to fall along, along in line with a bunch of other stupid girls. And I'm going to say this chick is going to be stupid if she does not want to at least have sex with me. Like, again. I mean, like, again. I mean, uh, at least have, I mean, at least, you know, study with me or, you know, chill out and hang out. Um, but, man, fuck, like, I mean, seriously, like, you know, Single people get for real now. When I mean, you be seeing this one chick, I mean, okay, single males and single females, because, I mean, females, y'all be seeing females and dudes. Dudes, to be honest, you know, y'all be seeing females, but some of y'all on the slide really do be seeing dudes. And, like, I mean, that's okay, but, I mean, don't try to pull me in your web of lies. But, I mean, like, okay, on the serious side about it all, you know, damn, like, if I'm feeling you, and you start out feeling me, and we'd have had a conversation a year ago. Uh, you should be feeling thankful and grateful that I, once I found out who you were, I didn't walk the fuck away from you. Because, I mean, you said a thing, I'll let you put me on hold. Because that's basically what you did. I'll let you put me on hold, and then you basically snuck back in my life through someone else. You know, and that's just, that's just ratchet to me. It is. I mean, I know I'm ratchet. I know I'm face fucked up and everything, but, you know, I mean... Outer beauty is can be prettier than inner beauty because inner beauty can be just so totally fucked up. I mean, like, people be sitting up there thinking, yeah, I'm all this and the shit, I'm that and the other. And deep down inside, I'm like, bitch, fuck you. You know, if you were so good, you wouldn't have cheated on me. You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing I be thinking. I mean, like, I know males get cheated on. Some dudes probably don't want to say nothing because they just going to hurt their pride because their friends don't get cheated on and their friends do the cheating. But it's okay. I mean, like, you hear this now. Go ahead and cry to yourself where your girl not gone and she cheating. It's all right. Women, you're going to cry anyway because I know you be pissed off your man be cheating. Especially for you women that be having a man that come back and they burn you. Oh, my God. I know that has got to piss you the fuck off. I would be so mad. I am so thankful, God. In fact, God knew what he was doing. God knew what he doing. 
Because he didn't make me a girl. Because I would have electrocuted a motherfucker if... Oh, we. That's why I know I could not be a girl. I couldn't take the pipe. Because if I took the pipe, oh, we. It would be some devastation if you came back to me unfaithful and, ooh, we, baby. <laughs> you think I'm something now. Let me have been born a girl. Y'all, who? But yeah, be faithful and loyal to one another. Because I know I really want to be in a good, coveted relationship. And you whores out there that are married that, you know, cheat. And then you motherfuckers out there that are cheating that are engaged to your future spouses or supposed to be future spouses. And then you cheat. You make it so hard on us because, like, then, like, it, oh, my gosh, it's just so many complex voids that women have already been taken through from when they were a child that when they grow up they have even more fucked up complex voids because of fuck men that do fuck things and then they blame it on the good men and the good men are sitting up here like well what the fuck am I supposed to do I cannot play daddy fucking daycare all the fucking days of our life and you know do all this other crazy shit and still be the man that you love because I have to take care of the like, Chris Rock even said it, I think. You have to take care of the daddy want needs, the needs and shits that daddy didn't take care of. Then you got to also take care of the needs of being a man and, you know, being the husband and, you know, being the pipe layer, you know. And, I mean, it's like throwing all those emotions in one, that shit is, like, horrible. I don't like being a bad daddy. I mean, like, no, nah, I know, yeah, everybody comes with some baggage at some point or whatever. But big fucking deal. Okay, you come with some baggage. If the person that you're with cannot ex accept that you have some type of baggage, whether it's something from your past or whatever, because, I mean, for starters, if it's something from your past, depending on what it is, hell, ain't nobody caring anyway, you know? But, like, yeah, be for real. I mean, like, baggage from the past? Even baggage now. Hell, I mean, it, it's... Okay, I can understand if you don't want somebody with baggage because you got some pretty horrible baggage. But at the very same time, be for real. Don't be that judgmental. I mean, I know how judgmental I can be. So I truly, truly urge you, do not be judgmental. Because that's stuff that comes back on you. And, you know, some people don't even be wanting to come back on you. And it come back on you through them. And they be like, oh, my gosh, I didn't try to fuck up, but I fucked up. And it's like, oh, my gosh, now you feel horrible because I said this. And I wasn't trying to say I was trying to, you know, preserve your feelings and everything. So it works that way. If you enjoyed what I said, or if you understood any fucking thing I said, because I don't really know what I said, I'm about to upload this video. And if you like it, like it. If you don't like it, share it. Either way it goes, leave a fucking comment. Later, Phoenix Everlasting. Out, motherfucker.